we're going to be talking about um, comparing numbers. And when we're talking about comparing numbers, we're going to be talking about um, comparing them with inequalities as well as with absolute values. All right, so our um, first vocab word that we are going to go over today is inequality. And an inequality is um, a math sentence that compares the value of two expressions using an inequality symbol, such as um, we have less than, greater than, equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal to. All right? Not equal to. All right, so for example, if we have, um, we have an expression that says three something to five, all right? We need to compare 3 and 5. In this case, we know that 3 would be less than 5. Okay? All right. Um, we also are going to be talking about opposites. Now, with opposites, we are talking about two numbers that are the same distance from 0, but in opposite directions. So, for example, we could talk about negative 2 and 2 are opposites. Really ugly two. Um, so negative two and two are opposites. Um, which brings us to absolute value. An absolute value is a number's distance from zero on a number line. So for example, we have a number line, all right, and we have zero in the center. We have 1, 2, and 3. And we also have negative 1, negative 2, all right, and negative 3. So in this case, um, when we're talking about absolute value, we're talking about how many spaces away it is from zero. So we can say two, the absolute value of two is two. And the reason is, is because it is one, two spaces away from zero, which brings us to the absolute value of negative two All right, is also two. And the reason behind that is because when you look at zero and you count one, two over to negative two, it is exactly two spaces away. All right, so we are going to practice some of the absolute values um, with this. So we have the absolute value of 12. If you drag it through here, we can see that the absolute value of 12 is 12. So think about this one. We have the absolute value of negative 15. All right, the absolute value of negative 15 is 15. Okay, same thing here. We have negative 2.5, negative 2 and a half. And the absolute value of negative 2 and a half is 2 and a half, 2.5. Okay. Now, sometimes you are going to have an expression, an expression, which is a problem within the absolute value. So in this case, we are going to do two different steps. We are going to solve the problem on the inside of the absolute value and then find the absolute value. So in this case, we have 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. All right, so then we are trying to find the absolute value of negative 3, which is 3. Okay, with this one, we have 3 plus 7, and we all know 3 plus 7 equals 10. So the absolute value of 3 plus 7 is 10. All right, and then we also have this one. We have negative 2 minus 9. And if we were to leave change opposite that, we would figure out that negative 2 uh, minus 9 is the same as 
negative 11. So then our absolute value of negative 11 is 11. All right. Um, now sometimes you will see um, a problem that looks like this, where you have to find the absolute value of um, each individual number and then solve the problem. So in this case, we have the absolute value of 2 minus the absolute value of 2, which would be 2 minus 2 or 0. Okay? Um, if we skip over to this one, we have the absolute value of negative 7 minus the absolute value of negative 8. The absolute value of negative 7 is 7 minus the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. All right, so in this case, 7 minus 8 is negative 1. All right, so very quick, easy um, lesson for today, but very important to remember um, these ideas. Absolute value is a very um, key part of algebra, and you will see it a lot this year.